Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you back. So today's recipe is Asian style egg noodles. They're very intimidating, but they're super easy to make. You will see and the result is amazing in soups, uh, stir fry, anything you like. Uh, so I'll take you step by step through the recipe. We will need one cup of all purpose flour, uh, one teaspoon of salt, We'll mix the dry ingredients. And then we'll take one egg. This is a large egg. And I will whisk it. You will see that I will not need any water for this recipe. If you need, if your egg happens to be smaller and you will need more water, please go ahead and use more water to make your dough uh, come together. For this recipe, I needed only one egg. I used my spoon to mix the dough a bit and then I will add a tablespoon of cooking oil. I have canola oil here but you can use anything you like. Uh, I don't know about olive oil but you can use any cooking oil. Sunflower, canola, uh, grape seed as well will do. I will mix well first with my spoon. I had long nails so I preferred to wear my gloves to make things more hygienic and to be more comfortable working with the dough. I sprinkled some flour on my counter and then transferred my dough into the, the countertop so I can work it properly. Um, the dough is still a mess uh, right now but the more you work it, the more it comes together and the more it becomes softer. Um, you just have to be... Um, very patient at this stage keep working it for at least 10 minutes and when you're done you just cover it with a plastic bag and a towel and leave it for 30 minutes so after the resting time our dough should be firmer and smoother in texture uh, we will start working out uh, the ball um, with our roller tin we will start pushing down and back and forth we keep sprinkling our flour so it doesn't stick and uh, uh, we need a lot of energy at this point so because we don't have the, basically the machine that does the work for us we need to keep flattening the dough as much as we can the thinner the better when it's done i will flip over my dough and i will make sure it's very well floured so it doesn't stick together uh, i don't have any fancy way of cutting my dough except using my uh, good old knife um, depending on how you want the thickness to be um, you're just gonna cut them one by one <laughs> don't push with your hand otherwise it's gonna stick together so just keep cutting and i will show you how to open them And there you go, our noodles are ready. It's super easy actually to open them. You just, if they are properly floured, they're supposed to be, like they're supposed to open just by touching them and by unrolling them. You will let them dry for at least 30 minutes before you use them in anything and uh, just in open air. Open air will do. And if they're sticky, just sprinkle some more flour and they should be fine. 
And now I will show you how I use these noodles to make a very easy and amazing uh, recipe for chicken noodle soup. So for two persons, I used two chicken breasts, um, half an onion, four cloves of garlic, and a bouquet of coriander. I'm making my own Chinese five spice mix. And this is what I how I make it. Um, I have a medium stick of cinnamon that I broke into pieces some fennel seeds uh, around one tablespoon of fennel seeds a couple of uh, anise star or star anise <laughs> uh, cloves and some black peppercorn so this is how I make my five spice mix which is amazing you should try it I place it into this infuser which is um, a stainless steel infuser I place it with the other ingredients in the pot and then I add my water and bring it to a boil 30 minutes is enough but the more you leave it the better it is I would say maximum leave it for a maximum of one hour and um, until it comes to a boil After it's done, I'm going to strain everything. I'm going to strain the chicken. The I'm, We're not going to use the onion and the coriander. The only items we're going to use is the chicken and the garlic. The garlic is an amazing source of flavor. Uh, we will puree it. Now it's like a puree, which is amazing. It smells very nice and it's super, super flavorful. We're going to make our sauce. We will need um, this Korean uh, hot pepper sauce mix. We mix very well and we add some sriracha sauce for some spiciness and sweetness as well. Soy sauce. I'm just eyeballing here, but you can use as much as you want or as little as you prefer. And I will add some vinegar as well. And mix very well. And now it's my favorite time where we will assemble everything. I will need a couple of green onions chopped. I will add my shredded chicken breasts, the sauce. I will add the broth, the amazingly flavorful broth that we made. We'll mix and we will bring to a boil. Right after our soup starts to boil, we add our noodles to the broth and we cook them for two to three minutes. The longer they cook, the chewier they will be. And then when they're ready, we serve them. It's super, super yummy and the smell is amazing. We add some green onions on the, on the top. And um, bon appetit, enjoy this recipe. It's super, super tasty. And the noodles are really nice and chewy. I hope you will like it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.